What is up ladies and gentlemen, Johnny5 Alive here, and I have spent the last, I don't know, 14 hours studying coasters, categorizing coasters, creating images and notes on different things that I want to speak about on the coasters. Now, this is going to be a very interesting learning session, and I'm going to uh, teach you guys a bunch of stuff. It's going to be a fun one. It's going to be an all coaster talk. You're going to learn about the different categories, types of coasters, and how they should be used. So. Stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, guys, before we get started, if you do like this video, please remember to smash that like button, subscribe for more Planet Coaster guides and videos, and uh, let me know what you guys think of this video down in the comments below. So there's a lot of things I want to get into here. Now, before I sit do anything, I just want to mention all these coasters I built, I built one of every kind, starting from starting from like just the, the top to the bottom and I created them all in these rows. And then I kind of decided to look closer at them and figure out what makes them what they are and how do I categorize them because this game does a very messy job of categorizing these. And I was going to build a coaster blueprint and I realized I don't know what half these coasters do or what the subtle differences between them are. And I'm sure many of you are having the same problem. So I'm going to make it really simple. I've done a lot of lag work, made a lot of images, and I'm going to break this thing down top to bottom and it's going to be really interesting so as you can see here i put down all the coasters and then i started inspecting them and oh yeah these coasters are by no means good designs they're basic designs i made them do their basic things checked out what they could do what kind of spirals they could do and then auto completed them and this gave me an idea of like hey is this an inversion coaster is it a speed coaster and it gave me an idea of you know is it unique from that i went and basically crunched all that information into something consumable so let me show you what the end result is here so i broke them in down into categories and the first category is the looping coasters these are the coasters that allow you to do inversions and they're usually most of them are adults and teens only there are probably a few that are all ages. Then there's the speed coasters, and it's a mixed bag of ages, and these coasters cannot, be, um, they cannot do inversions. They're meant for fast turns and banks and that sort of thing. Then there's the casual coasters. These are the all aged coasters and they are kind of like your kiddie rides, your casual rides. I mean, it says it all itself. And then there's moving on to the last category, there's unique coasters. Unique coasters are one of a kind coasters. There are no other coasters in the game like these. They have something very, very special about them. So this is all the categories together. They all kind of have one or two unique coasters within the categories. And now that I've subdivided this all up, it's a little bit easier to understand and it doesn't end there i've also taken the looping coasters and breaking them down further we've got five categories for the looping coasters we got our standard traditional corkscrew coasters but I, the reason i've numbered them is because they get slightly more intense the, as you go through them and then there's the hybrid coasters which are your steel wooden coasters then there's the light coasters which are much smaller carts they're very light they they carry less people and that sort of thing then you have the hanging coasters where you're actually underneath the track and like i said they get more intense as the numbers go up and then there's the winged coasters where you're hanging off the sides of the track so you get a little bit more horizontal g's or whatever it is lateral g's and then this is all of them together and each one of them has a kind of a unique coaster within their categories then i've made the speed coaster category and there's two categories here it's the narrow and long so your long traditional coasters that can pack tons of people usually these are the most people that you can fit on a ride up to 48 they're very fast they're long and they're narrow these ones are wide and short they fit less people and uh, they're a little bit lighter so two categories is there and one of them is very unique then moving on to the last category we have the casual coasters which I broke up into two categories we have the traditional kitty rides there and they get slightly more intense as you go and then there's the specialized coasters which are very unique and as you can see here they have the unique label to them so all this information is great and I bet you're looking at this going like you know maybe it would be nice to have a guide like this so I made you guys one this is my channel 5 gaming Facebook page if you haven't liked it come over here the link is down in the description below and it's also at the top of my banner on my channel come like this channel and follow it like I do daily Facebook posts on my channel so you'll get all the news coming from channel 5 gaming so one of the images I uploaded is this guide for you guys 
So we open this up in a new tab. I've taken all that information I've done there, broken up the colors and the specialized unique tags. And here's the legend down at the bottom. And what's good about this is it tells you the stats. So like, for example, we could just look at this coaster here. What is blue for with a, you know, it's unique, obviously. It's a 24 seater unique single rail for adults and teens only. You know, we could look at another random one like uh, maybe this pink one with the two. Well, what is pink two? Specialized, so it's this guy. It's an eight seater, unique rotating carts. So what's good about this legend is it gives you an idea of how many people you can stuff on this coaster, if it's for what age, and then if there's something unique about it, like if it's a unique cable lift or a unique drop point or a vertical lift, it's gonna tell you all that right here. And it kind of makes it easier to figure out what you wanna build when you're building it. So link will be down in the description below for this legend and come like my Facebook page. Love you guys. All right, so now that I've run you guys through it, this is all of the coasters in one fat park. And then I've taken them and I've divided them up into their proper groups. So we're gonna start off looking at the looping coasters category. We're gonna go over the standard, the hybrid, the light, the hanging, the winged, and the uniqueness between them all. So now one thing about Planet Coaster that they do differently than other games in the past is in the past you could just change the kind of car that you had on the track you could literally just change you know the different carts around and in this game they will create a whole new coaster if the cart is slightly different so that's kind of how these categories came about and it kind of is interesting how they progressively get more intense it was it was a fun little process but it was a lot of work so the first one here we're looking at is looping the american arrow it's a uh, the cart type is a nine rows two by two carts and it's a tr traditional style of seat it seats 36 people total it's a, it has a chain lift and it's for adults and teens only so it's your very basic most traditional corkscrew style style coaster so if you're looking to just make a standard corkscrew coaster this is your number one and that's where i've labeled it in the legend so the legend is dictates everything here perfectly and then number two we're looking at the floorless werewolf now this is uh, 10 rows by four and it has no floor your feet dangle. So that's what makes it unique. It's pretty much the same as the last one. However, it's you got your dangling feet. It seats 40 people on a regular chain lift and it's for adults and teens only. So like I said, it's much much the same as this one, but instead you are dangling and the seats are a little bit wider and it packs in a few more people. Number three, we're looking at the Stand Up Enigma, and the cart type is uh, 10 rows of four, and the uniqueness of this cart is that you're standing up. It's This thing seats 40 people, it's a regular chain lift, and it's for adults and teens only. So it's just slightly getting more intense. Then moving to this one, number four is a single rail basilisk, the cart type is four rows of two by three, seats 24 people, regular chain lift for adults and teen only. Now this is one of the ones that I classified as unique. This is the only coaster in the game that uses a single rail style. So it's just like any of the other corkscrew coasters, however it's doing it on this very unique square single rail. What's, what's interesting about this is it's gonna be a little bit trickier to um, get it riding smooth. It's gonna be a much smoother ride at the end of the day because it doesn't have all these little rickety supports and stuff like that. So it's a very interesting one and it's its its unique own out of all of the corkscrew style coasters. So it's definitely gonna be like a fan favorite in my opinion. It's definitely stands out. Now number five is the launched torque. This is the king of all corkscrew coasters. So the cart type is five rows of two by three. It seats 30 people total and it's a launched lift coaster for adults and teens only. Now what makes this thing, this is also classified as unique and what makes it unique is one of the features it's doing here is it's I think the only coaster in the game that can reverse mid, uh, mid run and it's going to shoot you backwards and then gain you momentum and then speed you back up which is very very unique it also is a launch lift coaster by default instead of a chain lift and it's the only coaster in the game to offer crazy loops like this so when you put this loop down it actually comes with a track on the back that you link back in so when the coaster goes around we'll speed this up so you guys can see this it comes around the loop and then it does another loop 
and then I've tied it back into the loop. This is one track piece, not two. It's very cool. And as I mentioned, this coaster is not designed well. It's just for testing purposes so you guys can see these different pieces. So this is definitely the king of all corkscrew coasters. Very cool. Okay, now we're moving on to the hybrid coasters. Now these are more secure seats and they're for all ages. The hybrid coasters are wooden slash steel coasters. So that's really cool little invention there. It has the, the wooden supports and the steel tracks. It can do inversions like a regular corkscrew coaster. And the first one we're looking at here is the hybrid steel topped iron fury now the cart on this thing is 10 rows of two and it also has a, a steampunk kind of vehicle look to it it seats 20 people total it has a regular chain lift and is for all ages the next one is the hybrid steel track malice unchained it's a uh, 12 rows of two it's got it's like the the cart style itself Let's see if i have another one here it's um it's kind of like a furnace on wheels it's pretty cool and this seats 24 people total it's on a chain lift and it's for all ages now you're probably wondering what's the difference between this coaster and this coaster and it's a very very subtle difference so the steel topped iron fury is it's all steel on top or wait it's just steel topped sorry it's basically the whole thing is a wooden coaster but it has steel cross beams and a small steel beam on top whereas this guy over here is uh it's steel all the way through and the only wood is the supports everything else is steel so this one's more steel and this one's closer to more wood it just has the steel tops so if you're looking it's just a stylized feel and obviously the carts are different this is kind of like a vehicle thing and this is kind of like a furnace so it depends on what you're looking for in your style but essentially they do the exact same things as far as i could tell all right so the next category we're going to be talking about is the light cart category these are the smaller carts. So the very first one is uh, Crazy One Looney Turns. The cart type is two rows of four and they're small light carts. It seats eight people per cart, regular chain lift, and is for all ages. So it's kind of like your kitty corkscrew coaster. It's very light. It's, you know, anyone can ride it. It's, it's you know, sat, um, it buckles you in nice and safely and it, it's not meant to do too many crazy things, but it is the kiddies version of the corkscrew coaster, as many of these coasters other than the hybrids have been for adults and teens only, and same with the ones going forward. So if you wanna make that little for all ages corkscrew coaster, this, this one is going to be the one. Then the next one is getting a little bit more intense. This is the Typhoon Barghest. Now, um, this is two rows of four, light cart, seats eight people. It's a vertical chain and it's adults and teens only. So I did label this one as a unique coaster because it's the only coaster in the game that can do a straight up vertical lift and then it kind of halts you and, it, and then it drops you. So it's a very cool lift style and not to mention, it's the only coaster in the game that uses this style track. It's a very interesting track style, but Overall, it still fits the category very well of the light coasters. And it looks like I failed my coaster. It doesn't quite make it. Um, testing purposes, it's okay. So the next one here, this is the Dive Athon. It's uh, three rows of 10. It's a chain lift and it's for adults and teens only. Now this is also a unique one as it's the only coaster in the game that actually has this unique break hold point. It breaks you and it holds you and it's like a little station in itself and you can set how long you want it to wait on the edge. This one kind of does it, but this one has more control over it. This is the bigger, better version of this minus the vertical lift, but you can't do a vertical lift because this thing is holding 30 people. So it's pretty crazy and it's kind of got your traditional corkscrew track. It's very cool. All right, now we're gonna move on to the hanging category. And this is the one where you dangle from underneath the track. So the first one here is the inverted two-seater boa and the cart type is 12 rows of two and it's dual hanging seats. It's a regular, it seats 24 people. It's a regular chain lift 
and it's for adults and teens only. Now this one is one of my favorite types of coasters, I would have to say, and it, it's uh, it's just the dual people, but it's your traditional, it has all the features that this one would have, all the same kind of loops and different fancy things, but it has a few extras, like it can twist while going over loops, and uh, yeah, it can do some nice things like that these these are really cool coasters i like the hanging coasters the next one is the inverted four seater rival it's uh the cart type is 10 rows of four and they're quad hanging seats it seats 40 people total with a regular chain lift and it's for adults and teens only so this is actually my favorite coaster in the game i think so far or one of them favorites and this is the one that i did my molly coaster on which was, you know, it was shown on Zerka's channel, and it, you know, it's my favorite coaster that I've built. It's the longest coaster I've ever built, and I had the most fun doing it. So, absolutely in love with this coaster. So it's the same one as this. It does all the same things. The only difference really between these coasters is this one is a quad seater and the other one's a dual seater. This one holds 40 people, whereas the other one only holds 24. So it's a bigger, heavier duty version of this. And then the last one here, this is the Flying Stingray. Now the, the, uh, the cart type on this is eight rows of five and uh, it seats 40 people per cart. It's a regular chain lift and it's for adults and teens only now this one got the unique label because as you see here it lifted them up it's the only coaster in the game to face you straight down or up depending on the uh, inversions that you do just like Superman so this really is the Superman coaster as you can see everybody's facing the ground and uh, I think I flipped them up over here just to give it a nice little test but this this thing is very neat so here we go, it flips them here, we can pause it, and everybody's looking straight up now. So depending on how you design this coaster, you'll be looking straight up or down. So very cool design, and it got the unique tag, and it holds five people in width and a total of 40 people. So you can hold just as many people on this as this, but the rows are larger, and the inversion, the, the tilt, is a little bit more intense than the rest of them. So like I said, they progressively get a little bit more intense. And now moving on to the last category, this is the winged category. So these winged ones, you hang off the sides of the coaster's tracks. So the first one we're looking at here is the wing black falcon. The cart type is 10 rows of four. It's a dual double seat wing seater. It holds 40 people and it's a regular chain lift and for adults and teens only. And it has a cool little design of a like a hawk. It's very cool. Moving on to the next one. The next one is a wing launched cloud runner. And the cart type is 10 rows of four, just like the last one. It's a dual double seater wing seat. Seats 40 people. And uh, the difference between this one and this one is essentially that this one is a launched lift. And it's also for adults and teens only. So yeah, it starts off and you can set the speed of the launch and it just shoots them. And you can go shooting straight up as well. And you can shoot them straight down. So this thing gets a little bit too much speed, like no one would ever ride this but it's for testing purposes and uh, it's essentially the same thing as the last one but with more power now the last one here this is the X dimension test pilot it's a uh, same thing cart row uh, 10 rows of four double double seater wing seat facing backwards and uh, it seats 40 people it's a chain lift and this one oddly enough the most intense one is for all ages now what's interesting about this one guys I gotta I gotta go into edit mode and show you this so if we select the track here the lift I should say you can actually set the seat angle rotation right here so you can decide which way you want them to face on the lift and I believe some of the track pieces allow you to do the same thing so when they're going through certain parts of the ride you can turn them so the idea with this one is these seats are on rotators they can rotate whereas the other ones can't so this is why I gave it third in the category. It is the most intense, but it seems like you're more strapped in. It's a lot safer. So that's probably why it's for all ages. But to me, it's going to be the most intense one because you're spinning upside down. It's changing your rotation. You're facing backwards. You may be upside down to face forwards. It's absolutely crazy. It's a very cool coaster. Nonetheless, you can play it around with the rotation and, um, and they're facing backwards. So it's definitely the most intense version of the three winged coasters. All right, so that's all the looping coasters. And as you can see, the way I've categorized them here, it kind of makes sense now. And the numbers are kind of increasing their uniqueness 
and their intensity as the numbers are going up. And again, all of this can be found in the legend. So this is a simplified version and it gives you kind of the, the stats that I ran you guys through in the legend, which can be found on my Facebook page. So next, we're gonna dive into the speed coasters. So as I mentioned earlier, the speed coasters, I broke up into two categories. We have the narrow, long, and the wide and short, and the speed coasters cannot do inversions, and they're all about speed and banking. And then there is a unique one in here. So let's check them out and see why I categorized them like this. So the first one we have here is Hypercoaster Anubis. Why is it not going? So the cart type is eight rows of two by three, six per cart seats 48 people one of the largest seating coasters in the game it's a regular chain lift and this one is for all ages so this is basically your most basic um i'd say speed coaster it's it's the very stock standard speed coaster it loads up tons of people it has a lot of weight it can't do inversions but it can do big steep turns it's not quite upside down you can't flip the people so it's all about big banks big turns heavy speeds it's a very heavy coaster it's very cool and then the next one this is the hyper coaster equalizer it's uh same same card as the last one eight rows of two by three six per cart seats 48 people as well one of the largest coasters in the game and it has a regular chain lift and is for all ages now it's pretty much the same as the last coaster everything i said for the last coaster applies to this one um the only real difference is, is the track so this track is a little bit wider on the supports the little rings and uh the car Cart has this little glass covering on it so if we actually go into ride cam it's got this little like I guess windshield which kind of makes it annoying if you're riding it first person so something to be considered whereas this one if we ride it in first person it does not have that and as you can see the track the prongs are a little bit skinnier so the the, the, the track changes a little bit for this one and the cart changes a little bit that's why I gave this one number two this one feels a little bit cleaner and more traditional Okay, number three in the list is the Launched Hydraulic Sprint 500. The cart type is seven rows of two by two, and uh, it's got a race car style to it. It seats 28 people, and it's a launch lift coaster, and this one is for adults only. So this one, obviously, it's all about speed. It's, it's, a, it's a race car. It's a launched hydraulic lift coaster coaster yeah this one's uh really cool it's all about the speed so it's definitely an in more intense version of the last two and then moving on to the last one we have the giga invincible now this one is uh nine rows of two by two four per cart it's a 36 people seater and this is uh got a cable lift and this is for adults and teens only so this one i did classify as a unique coaster because it's one of the very few in the game i think there's only two games in the game that have a cable lift and it has its own track type i did show one that had a similar track type but it was in a triangular shape whereas this is a square shape it's much similar to that one corkscrew coaster i showed off the uh, single rail but it's um it's like that scaffold style instead of a one big steel beam so this is a very unique style coaster it's the only one with this style of track and it's very heavy it seats less people than the other ones by f f a little bit like 12, 12 less, but um, it's it's just a bigger, badder version of all the other ones, and it does come with a cable lift. So that's kind of like the, the back daddy of them all. And moving on to the second category, we have the wide and short car category. So the first one we're looking at here is the prototype wing Tiamat. This is seven rows of four. It has a unique design. It seats 28 people total. And this one is the other cart in the game that uses a cable lift and this is adults and teens only i don't know if i said it but the giga coaster was adults and teens only as well so um this one it is semi-unique but i didn't feel like it was unique enough to be categorized as a neat coaster it's the only one that has a chain lift like this this square kind of chain lift and it has like a, a beginning middle and end piece to it and it can do a straight down drop so it's it is kind of intense um, but there's nothing really super unique about it. It's using your standard kind of corkscrew track, um, but it can't do inversions or anything. The only real thing that makes this thing unique is 
I guess the lightness of the carts, the width of the carts. They're, like I said, this is the, the wide and short carts. So they fit less people, they're wider, and they're a little bit lighter. So it's definitely its own unique out of all the speed coasters. Now, moving on to the last one, we have the Giga Rage. And this cart type is 10 rows of four with a very unique design. It seats 40 people on a regular chain lift and it's for adults and teens only. Now the Giga Rage is just, uh, it's really just the same as this Giga Coaster. They're both Giga Coasters. The only real difference between the two is the cart styles. So it's much wider and shorter. So it's going to be a little bit lighter, I, I take it, and because it doesn't have the length. Because the longer the cart, the more it's going to weigh. It's going to have a harder time getting over big curves. It's going to have a harder time going up hills because the, the length of the coaster is dragging it. So this one is a little bit lighter in that sense. So it's just a different style of the Giga Coaster. So you guys can see I categorized it the way that I have. And I think I screwed this up. This is supposed to be the unique one. Well, that's okay. I can fix that later. And yeah, so they get slightly more intense as you go up. And then these ones are a little bit different than these ones. All right, so moving on to the final category, we have the casual coasters. These are kind of traditional kiddie ride coasters. They do get slightly more intense as you go up. There are some unique ones in here. I categorized them by traditional and specialized. They are unique. They cannot do inversions and they're for all ages all these coasters are so starting off with the first category our first coaster here is the junior wendigo now one thing i got to mention here is this was my favorite starting coaster back in roller coaster tycoon one they had a pre-made coaster called the caterpillar which i always loved and i always made one of these i think it was just called the steel mini coaster in rct1 yeah that was my favorite and they did kind of give it this kind of little caterpillar bug look so i absolutely love this thing um so it has 16 rows of two Does Designed like a cute bug, seats 32 people, which is quite a lot, and it's a friction wheel lift, and it's for all ages. So it's your basic traditional kiddie coaster. It can't do much other than some banks, some spirals, and some drops, but it is very long and it can pack on a lot of kids. So the second one here is our junior coaster. It's a it's called the junior dragon. It's the exact same as the last one, 16 rows of two. This one's designed like a dragon though, and it seats 32 people with friction wheel lift and is for all ages so it's essentially the exact same thing as this there's really no differences other than this is a bug and this is a dragon maybe the dragon's a bit longer because the seats are a little bit longer so there's a little bit more length to the dragon so moving on to number three we have the mine train canyon runner the cart type for this is eight rows of two by three six carts per or six six people per cart um, for a total of 48 people one of the biggest seats coasters in the game other than those two giga coasters I was showing you guys so it is a regular chain lift and is for all ages now this one is sort of unique because it's the only coaster in the game that uses train tracks for rails it's essentially a casual wooden roller coaster or more intense train um, so that's it's a very cool coaster this is probably the if you look at these three kitty rides I'd say this is definitely a kitty ride it's the most intense version of the three kitty rides for sure and it's in all ages moving on to the last one this is the wooden the monster this is your traditional wooden roller coaster it's uh cart type is seven rows of two by three with six people per cart for a total of 42 people on the on the train it has a regular chain lift and is for all ages so it definitely is the most intense considering it's all ages it is the definitely the most intense kiddie ride and in some cases i wouldn't even consider the wooden coaster to be a kiddie ride the fact that it is for all ages is a little bit strange because the wooden coaster in my local theme park kids are not allowed to go on it so i found that a little bit interesting it feels more like a teen ride but uh it cannot do any of the crazy stuff and it is very traditional in the sense and it is just a bigger version of these so pretty cool all right, moving on to the last category, and this category is awesome, guys. It really is. These two little coasters sitting out by the solo. So the first one we have here is the the spinning spiral, and uh, it's it's got um, four passenger carts, two facing forward and two facing backwards. So four person per cart has a chain lift and is for all ages. Now what's so cool about this is we'll watch this one here. Um, watch this cart. It's straight, but there's a release point that I added, which allows it to now start turning. It's now it's spinning. 
Whereas here, it's locked and they can't spin. So it's acting like your traditional coaster until it releases it and now it allows them to spin. So what you can do is you can lock it again, you can spin it again, you can lock it again. And it's this very cool balancing act that you can do if you wanna have the people stay still as they're going around a turn, or if you wanna like kind of break them and s cause them to spin. And you could do a lot of really cool stuff with this. So that that's why I classified this as a unique coaster. It certainly is unique. It allows you to do something cool with the track pieces. It's the only coaster in the game that spins 360 like this. So uh, very cool. I love this little kitty ride. It's amazing. And it can also drop straight down if you want it to, which is pretty crazy. All right, moving on to the last coaster. This is the Free Swing Pioneer coaster. This is also a unique classification one. So there's two rows of four people for a total of eight per cart, and it's shaped like a little birdie, and it has a regular chain lift and is for all ages. Now, this has got to be one of my favorite coasters to play with in design. Now, obviously, this is a terrible design, and I'm going to kill somebody. Um, but what's really cool about this coaster, and I'd have to say it's probably the most unique in the game because these coasters from the last category from speed all the way to the casual coasters none of these coasters have been able to invert now what's cool is this is the only coaster out of all of them that can invert however it's not classified as an inverting coaster because it's the only one that uh, essentially it the coaster inverts but the people do not so the people stay right side up as this thing is traveling along and doing its inversions. It's very cool. So it's going to flip here, but the people don't. Now, why I think this coaster is so cool is because you don't want the people, you don't want to flip the bucket. That's like the name of the game. When you're, when you're designing this coaster, don't flip the bucket. See that right there? That's bad. These people would probably fall out and die because they're just being held in by one little bar. So that would probably make this coaster terrible results. Yeah, it's terrifying. So what you want to do when you're building this coaster is you want to make sure that the bucket stays upright at all times. You don't want them swishing and swaying around too much. You want it to be very, very subtle. And that makes for a fun experience trying to design one of these things. Not flipping the bucket is a fun little mini game to play when you're building this guy. And it could be frustrating, it could be difficult, but that's what I like in building coasters in this game is a challenge. And this one comes with plenty of that because the coaster is going upside down, causing these buckets to sway drastically. And you have to find a way to smooth that experience out for them so that they don't go flying out of their seats and fall fall to their doom so this is definitely in in my opinion saving best for last in terms of challenge uniqueness craziness and it's a kiddie ride that could end terribly if not done properly so very interesting so once again guys this is the breakdown as you saw I, I categorized them to looping speed casual and unique coasters came up with a final legend for it all with a little abbreviation saying how many people they can sit what kind of coaster it is and if there's a unique thing to this coaster it'll say it here the link will be down in the description below and come like my Facebook page and hopefully you guys got a better understanding from coasters I know I did and I know I'll be using that legend going forward I can look at these coasters and kind of decide to myself what kind of coaster do I want to build? And if I'm thinking about building a speed coaster, I now kind of know what the king of speed coasters is and what a good starting speed coaster is. If I want to make a corkscrew coaster, I know what the king of corkscrew coasters is and what's a good starting corkscrew coaster. And that's what I kind of wanted to teach you guys through this video. And it took me a long time to make this video, to make everything going into this video. And it's going to be a very long video. My recording right now is 48 minutes uncut. So hopefully you guys get a nice half an hour video hopefully regardless is this one was a doozy hopefully you guys enjoyed the video as much as i did presenting it to you please share it with your friends you know share it on twitter share it on facebook let's get some views on this thing going and please be sure to smash that like button if you did enjoy it and if you're new to this channel subscribe for more and let me know what you guys think down in the comments below all right guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video